Tonight's practice will be about exploring tree. So we're gonna come back to the root chakra, come back to the foundation for the beginning of this month and explore stability and root from tree, but in a really yin way. So explore the grounding and foundation and leaning into the support and rooting down as well as then the opening up. So there'll be a little bit of hip opening as well as a little bit of rooting. So we're gonna explore it completely on the ground and different orientations to gravity. So tonight, let's begin in a Shavasana type shape. So coming right onto your back and experience complete support on the floor. As you arrive on your back, create, create as much space as possible, taking as, as much space as you can with your body, reaching from one heel and then reaching through the other. And then even reach the arms up overhead like branches growing, stretch through one side fingertips and then stretch through the other. And then stretch through the left hand and the left foot, lengthening the left side of the body. And that stretch through the right arm and right foot, lengthening through the right side of the body. And then do that again. Stretch through the left. And then stretch through the right. Just connecting your breath to movement. Inhale and reach through one side. Exhale, return to center. Inhale and reach through the other. Exhale, return to center. Do that just a few times. And then just release, feel yourself melt all the way to the ground. Let go of any efforting. Feel yourself sink down into the earth. Feeling the foundation and support of the earth beneath you. And now we'll start to move to our first exploration of tree. First, we're going to come to a crescent moon type shape or what in yin we'll call banana asana. So we reach both feet over to the right corner of the mat, stretching the left foot beyond the right. And then now reach both hands to the right corner of the mat, stretching the left arm beyond the right. Maybe you even take the right hand to grab the left wrist to give a little extra sensation along the left side of the body. Or maybe you interlace the hands like prayer making whatever variation that feels right in your body. And then see if you can let go of the effort in this crescent moon shape. And allow yourself to find stillness, find stability, leaning in to the right as you lengthen out through the left. So we're also starting a new cycle. So we're beginning again with a beautiful full moon tomorrow. It's actually tomorrow morning. So you might see it tonight. Mm -hmm. 
So coming into that crescent moon shape. Visualize light filling the entire left side of your body. Noticing as you lean into this position and soften into your edge, if you notice new movement, new sensation, or a change in shape begin to occur. Allowing time and gravity to progress this posture. And then now staying in this crescent moon, let's come to explore a tree type shape here. So bring your right foot up into the left inner thigh, the left groin. You can, you don't have to yank it up, just slide it up. Try to get it above the knee. You can use your hand to help. Just go to that first edge of movement and arrive there, leaning into this tree type shape. And notice what it feels like. Notice what happens to the left side. Notice if you pull away from foundation. If you start to pull away from the earth, see if you can sink back down. Can you allow the right knee, the right thigh, the right buttocks to sink into the floor? Check and see if there's any gluteal contraction on the right. Maybe you might even squeeze the right buttocks and notice what it is like to ramp up any tension or contraction that might have happened there Hold it for about five more seconds. And then see if you can turn the volume down in that contraction in the right buttocks until it softens all the way. And like roots, let the places where your body and floor meet sink down into the earth. And then let the fluid nature of your breath, like water, feeding those roots, flow into the places where the earth and the body meet, breathing in and filling in the back body with your breath. Take two more breaths here. Then allow your arms and legs to come back to center. Maybe let the hands come down. Rest in Shavasana until all of the sensations subside. Just like after watering a plant, you let that extra water run through. So allow the sensations to move through and run through the body, integrating what we need, taking what we need and then leaving the rest, resetting and beginning again. 
Walk your feet over to the left corner of your mat. Arms come up overhead. They can either interlace or the left hand can be around the right wrist and reach the arms over to the left corner of the mat, trying to stay connected to the surface of the floor as much as possible. Notice where the body is working or efforting or lifting off the floor. And then see if you can let yourself lean back into that support. Letting the back of your body be like roots growing down into the earth. Let your breath illuminate the right side of the body from the outside of the right foot, pinky toe side of the foot, all the way to the right fingertips. Let the outline of the moon feel the illumination, the lightness, and the radiance of the sensation in the right side. Breathing in, expanding and opening the entire right side of the body. Breathing into that spaciousness, exhaling into the groundedness, leaning into the support of the earth beneath you. Take three more breaths in this shape. Taking one more breath and then sliding the left leg up to a tree type shape, trying to place the heel on the inner thigh above the knee, and then notice what happens to the body. Notice if there's any lifting off. Maybe you feel the contraction in that left side as you pull the leg up. Actually exaggerate that contraction for a moment squeezing the left buttocks, pressing the knee into the floor, ramping up the volume of that contraction for three, two, one, and then slowly releasing, letting it out, turning the volume down, and then ultimately off as you sink into the floor. Let the entire back of the body be like roots. Dropping down into the floor. Gravity pulling the weight of the body down. And then let your breath be fluid, nourishing those roots, breathing into the back body where the body and floor meet, feeling the breath fill the space between you and the floor. How can you let the external support of the earth and the internal support of the breath nourish you here? Feel the stability of the ground. Feel the potential that comes with each breath.
take two more breaths. And then let the arms and legs return back to center as that shape dissolves and you rest back into Shavasana. Allow the body to return to stillness. Feeling the benefits of the practice. Beginning again. And now turning to your left side, come on to your side. Continuing to explore this tree shape, maybe take your blanket to support your head so that your head can stay in neutral so that you can stack your shoulder, your hip, and your ankle on the left side. And then now, let's just do a little dynamic movement first. Just slide the right leg up the inner thigh and then slide it down, coming towards that tree shape. Maybe you even slide it up, then turn it out, and then bring it down. Bottom leg is slightly active, reaching through the heel, Ground the entire left side into the earth for stability. And then the next time you come up, bring the right leg into a tree shape and see if you can hold it here. See if you can press the right heel into the right, into the left thigh and then feel it grounding all the way into the earth. Notice if there is a little stability that has to happen, a little effort. Feel where you have support on the entire outside of the body on the left. Maybe the left arm comes up overhead, creating more length. Maybe the right arm even reaches up overhead as you did on your back. The right hand could ground into the floor. The fingertips could tent, or you could connect your wrists again. And then again, breathe into where the floor and the body meet. Feeling again that half moon shape on the left side, so the lengthening out of the left side. Feeling the breath flow into any space remaining between the left side of the body and the floor. Mm. 
feeling this outside edge, this outside support on the left side of the body. And then now start to tip towards your belly, rolling onto your belly, keeping that tree shape. Observe what happens with the pelvis. Observe if you can maintain that connection between the foot and the thigh. As you lie here, can you think about sinking the front of the right hip into the floor a bit more. For a moment, keep the left toes curled under so that you can press through the left heel. And then maybe you relax through the left foot. And bring all of your awareness into the front of the right hip. Trying to let the right hip, like roots, move downward towards the floor. And then nourish the whole front body with your breath. Breathing in, feeling the breath move up the front of the spine. Filling the space between the floor and the front of the body. Surrendering to the earth, letting yourself be nourished by the earth, be nourished by the breath, letting go of any efforting, establishing support, internal and external support. Take one more letting go breath. And then let the left knee come, I mean the right knee come up to the side so that you create more of a four or an L type shape. And then now let's thread the needle bringing the left arm underneath the right. And again, if you'd like, you can use your blanket for head support. And then let the right arm reach up, overhead, connecting to the ground as long as possible, and then allowing it to sprawl open behind you, coming into a twist. And this tw twist might feel a little different with the right knee starting on the ground and the, right, the left arm starting on the ground. You may feel like the right arm, the top arm, it's a little bit more up in the air. And that's okay. Use the breath to allow it to reach out from center. So come back into your midline, your trunk, feeling right around your navel. 
breathing into that center and then exhale with the breath feeling yourself expand more from the center moving outward As you let go, feel how you can expand just a little bit more. No need to push. Feeling how that natural flow of breath gently unfurls the wings like branches of a tree, stretch out through each fingertip. Like a gentle breeze, feel the breath move through the entire body out through both feet all of the toes and all of the fingers Breathing like a gentle breeze over every surface of the body. And then to release, let the right leg straighten down Return all the way to your back and find a momentary Shavasana. Leaning back into support. Let everything drain out back into the ground, returning to stillness. And beginning again from this place, the same place, coming to the other side. I'm just going to spin around so you can see me. You can stay right where you are. And then roll to the right side. I like using head support so that my head can stay in line with the spine. Stretch the right arm out in front, but then stack the shoulders on one another, stack the hips, stack the ankles, and then align the ears with the shoulders, with the hips, with the ankle bones. Feel the entire right side of the body ground into the floor. And then from here, let's do a little dynamic movement first, bringing the left leg up, rotating it out towards tree, and then allowing it to come down like a little frog leg or breaststroke, just some gentle exploration so that instead of pushing into our edge or our limit of movement or stability, that we have this curiosity or gentle fluid exploration and connection between breath and movement. Do that one more time.
The top leg stays attached to the bottom the entire time. And this time, bring the left foot into tree. Press the left heel into the right inner thigh. Feel that medial line of the body. So from the navel to the inner thigh to the left heel. All the way down to the inside of the right arch. Can you feel the midline of the body and send your breath right to the midline? Coming back to center. And noticing if you feel like you need a little more support, if this feels unsteady, you can always come back against the wall for this so that the wall is giving you a little bit of feedback. And then see if you can take up a little bit more space. Stretch the right arm up overhead. Pressing the entire outside line of the body into the floor, feeling the support, the stability, and the foundation through the entire right side of the body where it meets the floor. Maybe the left arm comes up overhead to meet it. I like to create a little tent with my fingers, or you could connect your hands or hand to wrist first feel every place where the body and floor meet then find your breath bringing your breath into that space between the body and the floor Feeling your breath sink down to where the body and floor meet. Nourishing, nurturing the whole right outer line of the body. Feeding those roots. Finding the stability in the side body, length and stability simultaneously, reaching out and then grounding down. Take two more rounds of breath. And then roll yourself gently towards the belly, staying in that tree shape. Maybe come onto the toes first of your right foot, pressing through the right heel, elongating through that standing right leg, and then reach the arms up overhead, lengthening that tree. And then maybe relax the right toes and try to let the hip on the left side fall into the floor. How much can you let the hip on the left drop into the floor, trying to maintain the connection between the inner thigh and the left foot? Noticing if you can still feel and sense the midline of the body. 
first sense the midline, then sense the lateral lines. Letting go of efforting, leaning into support. Like roots moving down with gravity. Feel the body become heavier with every exhalation. Allowing yourself to spend about five more breaths here. Completely surrendering, nourishing the front body. Feeling the breath flow into the front body, between the body and the floor. Breathing into the entire front of the spine. And as you're ready, bring the left leg up to more of an L-type shape. Knee is still bent, preparing for a spinal twist. Press through the left hand and thread the right arm underneath the left. Now, if you like, you can use your Blanket again as a pillow, keeping your right arm and left knee connected to the ground. Let the left arm circle up, staying connected to the ground as long as possible. Overhead, around and back, coming into your spinal twist. Feeling the breath in the center. With each exhalation, creating a little bit more space as you ring out from center, feel the exhale, create more stretch, length and growth through the fingertips. Shooting that nourishment and that energy from the midline out to the extremities. Reaching through all ten fingers, all ten toes. Letting yourself feel the simultaneous expansion and stabilizing.
letting the pose grow and change with time. On the next exhale, letting this posture dissolve, return onto your back for Shavasana. Letting the legs stretch out, the arms stretch out. Let the benefits of the practice feed you. Moving through you allowing you to surrender back to the floor. Feeling supported, feeling balanced, feeling complete. Take three more letting go breaths here. With each exhale, feeling those roots sink deeper. Letting your body be heavier. Nourishing your roots. And as you're ready, slowly and gently roll to your side. Feel the earth support you again, this time beneath your side body. Press your top hand into the floor, pushing down to come up. Find your way to sitting. And then gently flutter your eyes open. Stretch the left leg out in front. Now feeling gravity in this position, bring the right foot into the left inner thigh. Let the right knee fall down to the earth. And then reach the right arm up overhead. And then exhale, fold along the left leg, bringing the right ribs towards the left knee. Bringing your right hand to, to the left foot, to the left shin, to the pinky toe side. Allowing your body to lay over, to come back down over that stable left leg. And then the left hand can stay behind you if you'd like a little bit more twist. Or if you want a little more symmetry or length through both sides, you can cross the left foot and you can hold the bottom of your left foot with both hands and allow yourself to fold inward. Mm -hmm. 
see if you can focus the breath right through the midline of the body, feeling the breath from the left inner arch to the left inner thigh and right sole of the foot. Up the inside of the right leg. And then all the way up the front of the spine. Filling yourself up from center, from your midline. Returning to center. And then radiating out from there. Can you let go of any thinking and rest in the feeling of the body? Observing the sensation of center. Observing the sensation of your edges of the side body. Observing sensation of your width. And length. And depth. And slowly walk your hands up, coming into one little active posture here, keeping that tree shape. Press your right hand into the floor, your right knee into the floor. See if you can lift up and back, finding that crescent moon on the left again. Illuminate and activate the entire left side of the body. Press down through the left foot. Feel how the rooting gives you lengthening and lightness. Reaching out through your fingertips. Energize the fingertips like leaves blossoming on a tree. And take one more breath. And then coming back down, let's switch sides. Left foot now comes in towards a tree shape. Rotate over that standing leg. Reach the left arm up, feeling the length in the left side waist. And then forward over your base, bring your left hand to the outside of the right shin or ankle or foot. You can stay here first, get a little right rotation. Or if you're feeling more symmetry, you can take your hands and link them around your ankle, cross them over your ankle or your foot. And let your head fall down towards your knee. Coming into stillness.
Breathing again into the midline of the body. From the inside of your arch, up the inside of both thighs, up the entire front of the spine, all the way through the crown of the head. And rolling up, feeling yourself come up in strength, press the outside of the right foot to the floor. As your left hand comes to the floor, press out through the outside of the left knee, like the outside of that tree pose, and then reach long through the right fingertips, coming back into that crescent moon type shape illuminates the entire right side of the body with your breath feel the lift and length after the grounding and stability feeling into the opposites letting go of the head Awakening through the entire side body, feeling into the sensations of the body. For three more breaths. Last breath, and then returning to your seat, coming into your last posture. We'll end doing this in two shapes, in two ways. We'll come into a seated butterfly, and then into a supine butterfly, but that's a little different. Instead of a supta baddha konasana with your feet on the floor, we'll actually pull those knees in, pull, pull those feet in. And so generally in yin, when I do this butterfly posture, I keep a pretty long diagonal. But today, come into that more traditional shape where you really pull the backs of the calves in towards the backs of the thighs, coming into that nice, tight leg position. And then as you kind of lock the legs into that tree-type shape, that knee flexion, just start to fold forward. You don't have to pull here. I want a little bit of compression through the hips, but then just a hanging of the spine. So here the legs are firm and compressed and grounded, and we're letting the head hang. Rolling into a seed type shape, so ending where we began. So the tree begins as a seed. So after the expansion, the moving outward, the exploring, experiencing, transforming and growing, the completion of the cycle is to come back to the beginning. So feeling the beginning, the middle, the end, 
And then beginning again is a natural cycle of all things, of life and practice. Mirroring that in our breath. Feeling every phase of your breath, the initiation, the peak of the inhalation, the dissolving of the exhale, and the spacious emptiness between breaths. Waiting until the next beginning arises. So with every breath changing, transforming, and beginning new, beginning again with each inhalation, let yourself surrender back into that seed shape, in this butterfly shape, returning to your cocoon. Exhaling through the mouth. <sighs> and then gently rolling up, making your way all the way to your back. As you come onto your back, pull your knees into your chest. And then reach for your feet again. Coming back into that butterfly shape, letting the heels pull into the pelvis. This time we're using gravity to compress the backs of the legs. Now letting the legs just hang with gravity. And feel the stability in the spine. Feel the earth support the entire spine from coccyx to crown. Spine long and stable. Supported. Grounded. Breathe into all dimensions of the spine. Sending the breath to the front of the spine. the sides of the spine. And the back of the spine. Let your breath nourish the spine 360 degrees around the entire spine. Filling it, nourishing it, feeding it. Letting the nervous system return to the state of restoration where you feel safe, supported, and at ease. Holding this pose as long as feels right until you feel entirely complete. And when you're ready, allowing the legs to come back to the earth 
and completing our practice where we began in your final Shavasana. Let the reg legs stretch out long. Let the arms stretch out long, taking up as much space as you can on the mat, noticing the difference from when you began. Observe without judging, feeling the change, being grateful for the benefits of the practice, and then letting it all go. <sighs> Relax completely into ease, into your final Shavasana. Staying here as long as you'd like, allowing yourself to be nourished, to be fed, to be grounded and supported, restoring your roots and establishing a firm foundation. Thank you for your practice. Namaste.